What is going on guys, welcome back. In today's video we're going to learn how to display GPS information that we extract from an image's metadata using Python. So let us get right into it. Alright, so in this video I'm going to use a Jupyter Notebook inside of Jupyter Lab just because it's a little bit more interactive and easier to work with. However, as always, you can use whatever development environment you're the most comfortable with because the code stays the same. It doesn't matter if you use PyCharm VS Code, the default Python idle Vim or a Jupyter Notebook. I just like it a little bit more because it's more interactive. So what are we going to do in this video? We're going to take a simple image like this one here and we're going to extract the GPS information that is uh, contained in that image. So we have GPS information inside of that image that we cannot see right away. Uh, we have to look at the metadata, but this GPS location then tells us exactly where this image was taken at. And this is not a special image. This is not uh, a one in a thousand image. Most of your images on your phone will have this. So if you have your phone in, uh, in the default settings, if you didn't change any GPS uh, tagging settings, proactively, if you take an image with your phone, usually it's going to add a location tag to that image. So that for example, your phone can, uh, can tell you when you uh, were in Spain for a week, it can, it can tell you here, we have a collection of a couple of images that were taken in Spain. Uh, maybe you're interested in that. Uh, those are the features that are enabled by the GPS location tagging, for example. But at the end of the day, if you take an image with your phone, most likely it will have a GPS location tag. And if you send that exact image to someone else, they will be able to see that location tag if they extract it, of course, so they can see where this image was taken at. And maybe you don't want them to know. So maybe you want to be a little bit careful with that. Uh, one thing that I need to mention, though, is that when you take an image like this one here and you upload it to Instagram, you upload it to Facebook or even to WhatsApp or any messenger, the image goes through an algorithm that usually compresses the image, changes the image and so on. So at the end of the day, when you send that image to someone, they don't receive the exact same image with the metadata. If I take this image full of metadata and upload it to Instagram, it is not the same image. The location tag will not be part of the uploaded image. So you cannot just download the image and then you see the uh, location tags because you would need to have the original image. So I would have to send it through Dropbox, Google Drive or something like that or USB flash drive, whatever. But you cannot just send it via WhatsApp and then you have the location tags. Not, uh, it doesn't work like that. But if you have an image, however you get it with a location tag, you can extract it using Python. And it's actually kind of simple to do that. So we're going to need a couple of libraries here. We're going to open up a command line and we're going to type pip install. First of all, we're going to need pillow to actually load the image and get the metadata. But then we're also going to need uh, geopy to get the actual address once we have the GPS location. And we're also going to need um, GM plot. Was it GM plot? Let me just look it up again. Yeah, GM plot is the library. This is going to visualize our location. So the first thing we want to do is we want to say import pill dot image and we want to say image equals pill dot image open and we want to open the sample dot JPEG file that I have here now. So this is the image and now we can get the metadata. Now I have a video on this channel already on the metadata in general. So how to get the metadata overall and how we did that is we said import pill dot exif tags and then we said exif equals and we had this dictionary compre uh, comprehension here where we said uh, we have pill dot exif tags dot tags which is a dictionary here we get uh, the key and this points to a value. Um, and this is done for K and V in pill, oh, actually not pill, sorry, image dot get exif, which is actually an underscore function. So get exif. And then from that, we get the items. So we get key value pairs. And we're going to say if the key is part of pill dot exif tags dot tax. So that is that if I print this, you can see here, we have a bunch of things. And right away in the beginning, we have GPS info and we have these uh, values here. So if I go ahead and say exif GPS info like this here, if I access this key, you can see we have a bunch of values here. And what's interesting to uh, to us is this north with the coordinates and east with the coordinates. Those are the values that we're interested in. So what we're going to do now is we're going to extract them. We're going to say that north is going to be equal to exif GPS info two. 
because that's the key as you can see here um and then we're going to do the same thing for east but east is four so when i now print this you can see this is north and this is east now, don't ask me about the exact format, what means what, I'm not a GPS expert, but this is a format that we cannot work with in GMplot. So we need to turn this into latitude and longitude. So we need to take these values and convert them. Again, don't ask me what the difference is and what it means. Uh, I haven't read into that. I'm interested in the coding part here and in the metadata part, but I have figured out a formula through Googling. So what we do here is we say lat equals, and now we take north zero, so the first the first value here, uh, 43 in this case, we multiplied by 60. I think this is something with minutes and seconds. I, I read something about that. But again, don't ask me about the details here. So we multiply with 60, we add to that north one times 60. We put that in parentheses as well. And then we add north two without multiplying. And then once we have that, the result is divided by 60 and divided by 60 again. So this is because we divide minutes and seconds, I think, as far as I understood it. And for the longitude, we just say the same thing with east. So there you go. So now if I print the value, you can see it's some uh, funny fraction. We don't want to have a fraction. So what we do is we say lat long equals float lat load long so that we get actual floating point numbers that we can work with as you can see here so those are the actual coordinates those are the actual things that we need to display um to display the location uh let me just see one thing because i have an extra parent uh, i have an extra bracket actually in my prepared code. So I have one here. Oh, yeah, sorry. I thought that the values were a little bit off. But we need to I'm not sure if actually this changes anything. No, it actually doesn't change anything. So let me just double check if that's correct one here. Actually, no, here we need it. Sorry, I messed this up. Here, I just have double brackets. Now. There you go. Those are the values that you want to have. Now it's correct. So you want to have four parentheses here, when I have one closing bracket here, one closing bracket here, one here and one here, and then you divide by 60, divide by 60 again, then you get these coordinates. Okay, so this was a little mistake. But now we have the coordinates. And all we need to do to visualize them is we need to say from GM plot, import GM plot. And then we say gmap equals GM plot dot Google map plotter lat long and then we need to um, specify a zoom a zoom 12 is a good zoom to get an overview. So this is not a coordinate. This is just how much you zoom into the location, but you can then zoom out uh, or in and out also interactively. And then we're going to say gmap marker at lat long, we want to have a corn flower blue, which is just a little pin that is going to be there in that color. And then we're going to say gmap draw location dot HTML, for example, this is going to export an HTML file. Now let me get out of the directory and back in. If I now double click here, trust HTML, you can see that this is the location that this image was taken at. So you can see it's somewhere in Italy, uh, near Florence, in, in this, this city here, I don't know how it's pronounced. I'm not Italian, but Essentially, this is the exact location, at least the exact location of the data. Now we don't know if the phone, for example, saves uh, or stores or tags with an approximate location or with the exact location, but that's definitely the location that the phone um, put into that image. So if we want to now get an actual address, what we can do is we can say from geopy dot uh, geocoders, we want to import nomi natim. And then we're going to say geolog equals nominatum user agent is going to be get lock. And then we're going to say location name is going to be equal to geolog dot reverse. And we're going to pass here as an F string lat long 
There you go. And then I'm going to print the location name dot address. And this is in this case, where this image was taken at. This is just some Google image now. So don't, uh, don't worry, this is not some personal information. This is just from from a block or something, I think. Um, but yeah, if you want to also open it automatically, you can also say import web browser, I think this is part of the core Python stack, I'm not sure. And then you can just say web browser dot open, then location HTML, and you can open this in a new tab. So new equals two, and then it opens this up in a new tab. And you can see that you can go around here and look at the location. So that's how you do that in Python, you just take the metadata, you take the GPS information, you uh, convert it into latitude and longitude. And then essentially, you can just visualize it. And you can also get the information as text form. Now I recommend you try this with your own image, uh, just take your phone, make an image of something, uh, make a photo of something, or take some from your vacation and see if your phone gives you that information. Just pick your phone, connect it to your computer or upload to drive, download the image, try to do the exact same thing here on the image and see if your address is revealed in the Python code. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and 